Okay, so hello everyone. In the previous uh, lecture, we have seen how to install a Linux operating system on a bare metal hardware or even like in a, in a dual partition or as the only operating system in that particular laptop or desktop, whatever you are using. Today we, will, we are going to be discussing about the Linux distribution or Linux operating system itself, how it can be used, how and specifically how it can be used through command line interface. Now I will come to this term, what is a command line interface, how is it helpful for us, etc, etc. And how or which packages should we need to install for our upcoming lectures. So first, now as you can see on my screen that I have uh, Linux Mint uh, installed on my own uh, desktop. And uh, as in the previous video, I have shown you that uh, I have installed the Linux Mint on a virtual machine, but after a while I thought why not install the system on my own desktop itself. And by doing this, I wanted to uh, I wanted to basically provide you a one-to-one -one correspondence to my uh, directions given in this um, through throughout the course um, and you being doing on your part in your own computers if you install Linux Mint and if you're familiar with uh, with already with Linux um, then it's fine and good okay so to start with uh, some things first of all a Linux operating system is like any other operating system you see out there for example your phone which is very common now, nowadays, nowadays uh, with this smartphone uh, era, you have uh, different kinds of operating system in your phones too. And your, your laptops, your desktops all have op some kind of operating system installed in it. It might be Windows, it might be Mac OS. And uh, so primarily it can be Mac OS and Windows. But apart from these two, also there is uh, another one operating system which is very much used in, in scientific uh, domain, especially the people who are dealing with theoretical sciences, which is Linux. Now Linux and Mac OS have same kind of operating system structure or same kind of architecture because they belong to the same operating system family, which is Unix. Now, if you want to learn about or learn about the history of Unix, Linux, and Mac OS, you can obviously get, go through the YouTube and find lots and millions of videos out there. This video won't be discussing about the history of Linux. But what I will be going to discuss about is how an architecture of the Linux is for us and how we can use it for our projects. Now, first things first, the first thing that I have mentioned in the beginning of my introduction is that command line interface. Now, what is a command line interface? For example, when you open a computer, when you do something, for example, you open, uh, let's say, this folder is called home. Now you double click the folder and then a file explorer opens. Now now just to uh, just to tell you as a in a nutshell this operating system is some will somehow look very similar to Windows 10 or Windows 7. So if you are coming from a Windows background it would be very similar to it right? And um, and you can see, as you can see, you can just 
scroll through all those menus and go to your desired application that you want. You can just use it as a normal laptop that you use uh, in this with this operating system. So it's not nothing special or nothing very uh, old and 1960s like. But anyways, so when I double click this folder home, it opened a, it opened the file manager. And now you can access through all the folders. You double click on, uh, for example, music, and then you go to the music uh, libraries and you see different things, right? Now, what we are doing here is that this cursor or mouse is pointing towards some specific region of the screen or input as in our case is the monitor. And we are telling the computer that you should open this directory, right? Now this thing can also be done. Now behind this every clicks, actually there's a piece of code that is running. So whenever I click, I'd make a double click in the home directory, there is a piece of code that is telling the computer to open this home directory in the file manager application to display all the folders it contains. Now this same procedure can be just written in a form of or in some lines of code. Obviously who has written, whoever has written this uh, command or who has written this program has also used some text, some text uh, to fulfill that, some programming language, right, to interact with the computer. Now, the thing is, in that regard, we would, we, we have an additional thing in Linux which helps us do that without, you know, this graphical actions. What you can, what is that? And now that is called terminal or very specifically terminal emulator. So if I click, so you can see in, the, in my taskbar, there is something like looking like this uh, black kind of winky kind of symbol. And if, you, if I click this, you see a black colored window opens. Now this dark window is basically the terminal emulator for Linux. Okay. Now, so now we have a lin now we have a Linux terminal emulator. Now what we do with this? So for example, let's recreate the same thing that we have done using the graphical user interface. We will do that using command line interface. Okay. So we will do this in some kinds of commands. So what we have done previously is clicked in the home directory. We have opened it in a graphical user interface and then we entered the music directory. So first things first. First of all, we need to know in, in this. Uh, so first of all, we need to know what are the basic elements of this terminal emulator is because when I open this one, as you can see, if I open it again, it pops up with this same thing again, the same writing. Now, what does it mean? So first things is there is a name or there is a keyword, then there is a at the red or at, and then there is another keyword. Now, the first keyword refers to the user that is using the computer or so for example it's me for now for me and on, on your side it would be your, your own username that you give next thing is this username at where so what is which which machine it this this operating system is using now this redirects to dirac96 which is my machine's name now these are the two elements to know about. Next element is this tilde sign. What does this tilde sign means? The tilde sign redirects to or equals to the home directory of that particular user. So now we this basically means that this is our current location in the terminal emulator. 
Now, how would we confirm that whether it's a, whether it's our uh, current location in our terminal emulator? We do a simple command called pwd, which translates to print, sorry, print working directory pwd. So what it does, it prints the working directory. Where does it print? It prints prints on the terminal emulator. Now you would see if I type pwd and then I press enter, you see it shows the location of the terminal emulator now at this moment of time. So we are in the home of our of the particular user that we have logged in in the in this machine. Now we have to see we have to locate which folders are present in this directory as we have seen previously when we clicked double click the home we have seen some of those directories colorful directories now we will see in <laughs> somehow black and white so what we do what we do is basically the next command to show all the directories that are present in the current directory is ls which basically loosely abbreviates to list so you press enter again and you see you have obtained all the directories that are present in the in this current working directory now the thing is usually that all the directories are shown in bold and all the files are shown in non bold characters you will see it very soon so if i now i have to enter into the music directory of my uh, current one directory so what i how i will enter it the next command for entering the directory is cd which means change directory so change the directory and then you give a space space means which which directory and then you type music now there's a very interesting thing if you if the directory name the directory name can get a lot bigger right so you, if somebody is naming i don't know my fancy directory right so for example somebody wrote his directory name like this and now it's very hard to write all of this it's also time consuming right so what you do there is a shortcut technique to remember the first three or two or uh, two or three keywords of that particular character and you can automatically obtain this directory name by simply tabbing typing or sorry simply pressing tab button so for example i want to change the directory to music so i change the directory called cd then i make a space and then i then i type m u and then you i type tab and see automatically it prints music in my terminal now what i have to do i have to press enter now see the directory's location changed into tilde and then slash music now this backslashes are the convention of printing out the location of the directory in linux if you're familiar with windows you would see something like c so for example, if you are uh, in a user C, so in Windows, they have a system of partitioning the drives into, into several, several uh, parts and they install the operating system in one single drive and then you mount other drives, right? So, so what you, is basically the Windows um, convention is if you use, if you have ever used PowerShell or Terminal, you would see it's a bit different. So never go for the forward slash. It's, it's Windows convention right and in linux it's always backslash okay now so now we are in the music directory now let's see what is what are the contents of the directory as we all know now ls gives us all the directories now i i want to go to extras to see what's in there what files are in there so cd extra and then tab it already automatically prints it i enter and now you see we are in the music extras directory now let's list all list all the contents of this directory right so ls 
and then you see I have all files okay so now to clear all these things whatever is printed in the so you see that consecutively it prints on the every command prints something on the on the terminal emulator uh, with uh, with many contents right now if you want to get rid of all of this and start a fresh terminal right or or just to get rid of all of this and you get a clean picture again for the terminal so you just type clear and then enter see it got cleared and you are still in the music music directory now right so now what we have seen is how to change into a directory how to print the current directory what we are in how to list all the contents of the directory and these are the very basic commands that you will need to move through the directories in linux system